Hello everyone. I can't believe we're in June. It's crazy. It's really crazy. It's it's already June. It's already halfway through the year. Oh my god. I cannot believe it. Anyways, Today's video is going to be basically a bunch of products that I've tried out in May. So I'm going to be talking about the products that I had really good experiences with. Honestly, some of these products I've been using for more than a month. Um, some of these products I've been using throughout the month. And I'm just going to give you guys like speed reviews of stuff that I have unboxed on my PR unboxing. Just kind of give you guys updates of everything that I've been using. So I'm going to talk about the stuff that I love. I'm going to talk about the stuff that I like. I'm going to talk about the stuff that honestly did not work out for me. So before we get in the video, make sure to click the subscribe button. Get the video a thumbs up because it really helps out the video and I really appreciate it and let's go ahead and get on into this May speed reviews thing <laughs> I don't even know what to call it I say like favorites video but it's really not a favorite it's like a bunch of speed reviews so I need to find a new name for this so let me know any ideas in the comments down below as well as your favorites or products that you've been loving maybe products that you try that didn't work out for you I would love to hear it all in the comments down below so comment that all down below and let's go ahead and get into it all right so last night I actually went on Instagram and I asked you guys, okay, what products do you want to see an update on? Because I was like, I have my list, but am I missing anything? And you guys really helped me out a lot. So I have a few products here that I'm going to be giving you guys speed reviews on. All right. So the first one is I found a new lipstick, you guys. And this lipstick has been my favorite. I have been wearing it nonstop in my videos, everyday life. Like I cannot go a day without wearing this lipstick. It is beautiful, it is gorgeous, and I love it. It is from Lawless. So it's clean makeup, which is another reason why I really like it too. And the shade is called Fawn. This is the best shade, hands down. It is gorgeous. And the opacity and just how it like goes on your lips. It's weird, it's like a cream lipstick, but it's not like crazy creamy to where it's gonna slip and slide all around. It's like the perfect consistency. And it's just app, it's just stunning. It's a beautiful pinky nude, and you guys know I always gravitate to colors like this. It shows how much I love this one because I have not been wearing Becca Sugar. And you guys know I wear Becca Sugar all the time, but this one has now replaced it, and I love it. So I highly recommend checking it out. It is absolutely stunning. Another product that I love from Lawless is the lip glosses. These are beautiful. So this one I love topping on top of Fawn and this is in glazed right here. It's just a really pretty sheer lipstick that just gives you a gorgeous shine finish to the lips. And they're just like the perfect combo. So if you're wondering what I've been wearing on my lips and what I'm wearing on my lips right now, it's this combo. It is so pretty. I'm actually gonna top off some more lip gloss because I've been wearing it for a bit. It's just a beautiful, beautiful combo. Highly recommend it. And I really am liking your products. And I love the fact that they're clean and they have great ingredients in them. All right, so another makeup product that I have been loving. I got this from Bobbi Brown and they sent it over in a Mother's Day gift. And my mom, actually I spoke to her. She goes, I still use it to this day. I was like, are you serious? I didn't know she still used it, but she still does. And this stuff is amazing. Oh my goodness. So this is the corrector and the one that I wear is light bisque and this stuff covers the under eyes so well. Look at, you can see I'm already putting a dent in it. It is so good. So what I do is I go in, I moisturize, I prime and everything. And then I always go in with concealer first before I go in with my foundation. My foundation is a very light coverage foundation, which is the Kogan Doe one. And I like to put on my concealer first and then just top everything off. So that way I know everything is even and like the correct color. So I go in with this first and I put this underneath my eyes and I actually drag it down my nose because I get a little red around my nose, which is very normal for women. We are kind of more hormonal, just a little redness popping through there. This covers it up beautifully. It really brightens up the under eyes. It's a great corrector and this shade has been amazing. This is like my shade, like my natural color. So I've been really, really enjoying this. So if you are looking for a corrector for underneath the eyes that isn't like it's thick, but it's not too thick. Like it's like the perfect consistency. So if you're looking for one, you need to try this out. It is amazing. And I don't find that it creases or anything underneath my eyes. Like I haven't seen any creasing underneath my eyes. My eyes have been amazing underneath. So I love that. Another product that I've really been liking, and it's crazy because I really don't wear much eyeshadow anymore, but when I do wear eyeshadow, I've been using this, and I really like the way that it feels on my lids. This is from Hourglass. This is their Veil Eye Primer. This is in their new launch, and 
I've really been enjoying this. It's hydrating. It's like not crazy hydrating to where everything's gonna slip around, but it's also not like gonna dry out your eyelids either. Like this is perfect. So if you are dry combination and you are just looking for a really good eye primer, I recommend checking this one out. It just feels amazing on your lids and it works as just a great primer. So it's just kind of like, you know, just it has like a light tint to it, but it really just kind of like lightly evens things out. And I don't know, it's just like a perfect base and I've been really, really enjoying it. I have a hard time with eye primers because they cannot be too dry for me. Otherwise, my lids will get like even more wrinkly and it's just something that you deal with as you get older. And this one does not dry them out, which is why I really, really like it. So highly recommend that if you have more mature skin, if you have more dry skin or combination, I think you would enjoy it too. Another product that I've been enjoying is the Catrice Cosmetics HD Baking and Setting Loose Powder. I actually showed this in my testing new makeup video. And this is a really good dupe for the Too Faced Born This Way powder or like the Laura Mercier powder. I think it's very, very similar. It gives me the same results and it's from the drugstore. So I actually really, really like this. So I'm so thankful that Catrice sent this over, but it's been really nice to set my makeup and it keeps everything in place. So I've been really enjoying that. And it also doesn't make my skin look too dry either, which is not cute. So I've been enjoying that powder. All right, so I really wanna talk about two It Cosmetic brushes because I always get questions about tools and brushes that I recommend. And one brush that I recommend to have in your collection at all times, and this is great for anyone, are these It Cosmetics brushes. So you don't need both of these. You just need one of these. Um, I just wanted to show you like two different versions of it. So basically you have a foundation side and then a concealer side. This black one right here, which I will have them both listed down below for you, but this one has like a flat end to it. And then this one has like a curved end to it for doing your concealer. I find that they do the exact same thing. They both work the same way. I just wanted to show you guys two different versions, but this is a brush that you need to have in your collection. Like I cannot live without this brush. I use it every single day. I use this side for my foundation with my Kogan Doe foundation. Beautiful. I use it to also first go into my concealer. I cover up the areas that I need to cover up. Um, I use my finger for the Bobbi Brown one instead of using this, but I love to use this side to help get the foundation on the inner corner of the lid. It's just, it's just so easy and quick to use. And if you really want to apply your foundation fast, I definitely recommend these brushes. So definitely check them out, you guys. You don't need both of them, you just need one. They do the same thing. So it really just kind of comes down to what you want for like the concealer side, if you want a flat end or if you want a rounded edge, but they both do the same thing. But they are bomb and so good and they should be in everyone's collection because I'm telling you, it allows you to do your makeup so much faster. Okay, so we're gonna go a little bit on the negative side here, and we're gonna talk about two products from Too Faced, and I feel bad, because I love Too Faced. Like, I have some holy grail products from Too Faced that I cannot live without, but unfortunately, I have some products that I can live without that did not work for me, and they both are from the new Primed and Por Poreless line, so I tried these out in a testing new makeup video. Definitely check it out if you have not already, if you wanna see products in action, and this I really liked. Okay, so it looked beautiful on my skin. It really like cleared out my pores. Like they blurred them out. Like you did not even see any pores on my face. It was bomb, but it broke me out. <laughs> I was so bummed, but at the end of the day, I had little white heads all over my chin in this area and up here. And I'm just like, that is where I use the primer. That honestly really comes down to skin preference. Like, is this gonna do it to everyone? No, I just have very sensitive skin and I do have a problem with primers like this, which is why I can't use the Benefit one. It's so good, but I can't use it either because it gives me those little bumps. So it's just my skin is on the more sensitive side. If you do not have sensitive skin, I say try it out. I think you might like it, but if you do have sensitive skin and you easily break out, I would stay away from it because it might aggravate your skin like it did mine. But again, everyone's skin is different. I do think it's a great product because I saw great results from it. It just my skin didn't like it, which is a bummer, but that I just wanted to kind of touch base on. Um, another product that I want to touch base on is the Primed and Poreless Pore Blurring Mattifying Face Powder. This stuff is very, very chalky and drying. I did not like it at all. It doesn't have the best reviews online for a reason. Um, I was reading a lot of reviews about it and people were saying that the formula beforehand was a lot better. It just, like, I mean, you can even feel it and it looks dry. 
it doesn't even like even like splitting it out on my finger right now it's just like a little spots of white it just honestly I they missed the ball on this one it's not my favorite again it could probably be because my skin is combination and dry I don't know but I did not like it and a lot of people didn't like it either so it just did not work for me. It's not my favorite and I wouldn't recommend it. Next up is that tinted moisturizer I've been using. This is the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I've actually been using this like back and forth between my Coke and Doe Aqua Foundation and this is really nice. I really like this because it's nice and lightweight. It evens out your skin and you also don't really get oily throughout the day. Like it's not too drying on the skin and it's not too oily on the skin. It's just a very natural finish that is very skin-like finish. So I've actually really, really enjoyed enjoyed this and I will most likely be bringing this out to the river if it will match me I actually have to check to see because I know I'm going to be self tanning before I leave so it might be too light for me but um when it does match me I use it and I love the finish of it I think it's a great tinted moisturizer especially for the summertime like if you go to the beach and whatnot you can even like just put a little bit on your hands and just rub it all over your face and you're good to go like I think it's a great product and it makes the skin look beautiful one of the requests that I had to do a speed review on is the Sigma Core de Rosa right here and I received this in PR a while back the colors are beautiful if you love warm tones I think you will really enjoy this palette the form is good it's pigmented they're easy to blend I think they did a great job with it for me I've used it quite a bit ever since I received it and it's just I feel like the shades are just too warm for my liking I like warm tones but I like more neutral warm tones this is all a personal preference review right now because I think the product is amazing I think the formula is amazing it's just that the shade range doesn't really call out to me as much um, I really like the Belle of the Ball shade right here. This shade and the Corday Rosa shade are my favorite ones in the palette. But if I go to the other ones, I just feel like it gets a little too warm for my liking on my eyes. And it's just, I don't know. So it's just, for me, it's shade preference because I love like neutral cool tones. So I think it's a beautiful palette. So if you love warm tones, definitely check that one out. One palette that I do love and I've been using on a consistent basis is the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes. I mean, come on, need I say more? Like these are my shades. So this is why I gravitate to it so much. I'm even wearing, I'm wearing just a couple shades of this on my eyes. I'm doing Swan on the lid and then I have Nude in the crease. I'll even throw like Glistening Snow or Shimmering Pearl like on the lid, but I love this palette. I think this is a great one. I do wish they had a little bit better of a sh light champagne shimmer shade in here. But other than that, I think it's a great palette and it's something that I use constantly. So this is the one that I actually recommend if you are into the tones that I'm really into. If you like more neutrals and stuff, I think it's a beautiful palette. And I have an easy time blending them out. They're pigmented and I just really enjoy this one just because the shades are like my go-to shades. Okay, so next up is a vitamin that I love. So I pay for these myself. I have worked with them in the past, but I pay for them myself and I love them. This is the Ritual Essential Prenatal Vitamin. I have a link down below that I think gives, it gives you a discount. I don't know how much, but it gives you a discount. I will have that down below for you guys. But I really, really enjoy these. Again, pay for them myself. I started using them postpartum when I was, like after I had Riley and stuff. I never used these when I was pregnant because I didn't know about them then. And I wish I did because it has DHA in it and I could not handle DHA because it gives you that like, you kind of burp up that like fishy taste and it's so gross. But this, I don't get it with. I don't get the burping up with the fish oil taste. I also take them at night and they have this little like, um, bar in here. I think this one is it citrus and I think the one in the woman essential one is mint. Let me double check. Yeah, this one is citrus. So it has like this little bar in there that you can take out, but it kind of helps like mask the taste of it. And again, I take it at night and I don't get that whole like burping fish oil taste in my mouth that is just so gross. So these are amazing. I'm telling you, if you're pregnant, if you're breastfeeding, if you're trying to get pregnant or if you just want to take a prenatal or they even have essential woman vitamins too, Check them out. I think they're amazing. I take it every single night and it's great because it's on a subscription for me. So it like knows when I'm running out and it sends me another bottle right before I run out, which is amazing. So I don't have to go in there and order more or anything like that. So I'm always getting it coming. And I just, I think they're bomb and I highly recommend them. I started taking them a while ago. So I already went through one bottle. So I'm gonna throw a bottle and a half since I restarted it. And I, the reason why I'm taking prenatal is because I feel like it's helping my hair. It doesn't claim that but I feel like it's helping my hair. So I'm gonna keep taking them. <laughs> okay, so for an eye cream that I've been loving now that we're getting into skincare is from Bobbi Brown. This is the Extra Eye Repair Cream. This is a thicker one. They have like a regular one. This is so 
good, you guys. It is thick and I love it for the morning times. Like that is when I use it in the morning. I use my Murad hydration one at night and I use this one in the morning because I actually really like this one underneath my makeup. It doesn't make my makeup slip around. It doesn't make my makeup crease or anything like that. I just think it looks beautiful under makeup and it's very hydrating and it feels great underneath the eyes. Like I also have this other little device that I've been using in like, like with this and you guys, I don't know if you guys, pro you probably have already seen it. I've already posted on Instagram stories. I'm gonna talk about it in my next monthly like speed reviews to give you guys like a little bit more of an update on it, but I've been using it in with this and it's just so good. <sighs> I love it, I love it, I love it. I highly recommend that eye cream. It's one that I will definitely repurchase after I run out, which says a lot because I have a whole drawer of eye cream in there that I can easily like go through, but that one, I just feel like I've seen results from it. Like I, I don't know, I just really love it. Another eye cream that I have here is a little bit different. This is from First Aid Beauty and a lot of you wanted another review on this. So I need to find the correct link for it because it's now available at Sephora. Like I could not find it anywhere to link to you guys. I'm guessing it wasn't out when I was first sent it and I could not find it anywhere. Or I found it in a different version but they came out with it in this version. So I'm gonna have that new link down below. But this is the First Aid Beauty Niacinamide brightening cream. So I actually, you guys, you guys like probably wonder like, how are your eyes not creasing after putting so much underneath them? And why don't they feel heavy, but they don't like, it feels amazing. So what I do in the morning is I do my skincare, everything. So I go with my eye cream last and then I come and let like, you know, do my thing. I come in here and I get ready for the day. Well, I put this on after my eye cream and it just helps really brighten up the under eyes. And it just like brings so, look at that. It just brings so much moisture and hydration and it just makes the skin look like it brightens. And it's just amazing. And I like it because it reminds me a lot of the Becca one, but the Becca one is like a thick putty. This is very thin. So I think that's why it works with like putting it on top of my Bobbi Brown eye cream. And then what I do is I put this on and then I go in, I let that like kind of dry up. And then I go in with the Bobbi Brown corrector and it's been a great combination and it's worked out beautifully for me and I love it. So I've been really, really enjoying this stuff. You guys highly, re highly recommend checking it out. It really does brighten up the under eyes and it's very moisturizing too. So that's been like my little regimen. I know it's like, I was even telling myself, I was like, oh, that sounds like I'm doing a lot, but I like it. It looks great. Okay, so I have three sunscreens here that I quickly want to go over that I've been trying out. The first one is from Murad. It's their Environmental Shield one. It is the Essential C Day Moisture. So it has an SPF of 30. Then we have the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide. This is SPF 30. Um, the Murad one does not have Zinc Oxide in it. And then we have the Verse, which is their Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen. And this is an SPF 35. So this one has SPF 35, this one has an SPF 30. These are both Zinc Oxide. In here, there's actually 16.8% Zinc Oxide and this one has 15.2% Zinc Oxide. So I've been just trying these out. So like I said, I've been rotating these three. I have to say, I, for some reason, I keep gravitating more to the Murad one out of all three of them to be honest and I I'm thinking it might be because it's more moisturizing for me and I just really like it underneath my makeup the other ones are great too I mean like the verse one is also hydrating I just keep gravitating to this one I'm not sure why this one right here actually has a tint to it it blends out like it really doesn't really have much into it once you blend it out but this is where you can see what it looks like um, the Murad one doesn't and you just blend it in on your hand and it's actually really moisturizing too. So this is a good option as well. And then this weightless liquid mineral sunscreen from First Aid Beauty, you just shake it up. And I'm gonna put this one on my other hand. This one also has a light tint to it, like so. You just rub it in. This one definitely leaves a little bit more of a tint. The other one just like really blends into your skin tone. This one leaves a tiny bit of a tint to it but this one isn't super hydrating. Like it literally feels like there is nothing on your skin. So I think if you're oily, I think you would really like this or if you just hate the feeling of sunscreen or you just hate the feeling of just, I don't know, just too much stuff on your skin, I think you would like this because it's nice and it legit is weightless. Like you'd feel like you don't put anything on your skin. It like dries down immediately and it feels like there's nothing there. So if you do not like the feeling of sunscreen and you just want something weightless and like light on your face, check this one out. I think you'd really enjoy it. So that's just like my quick little reviews of them. I think they're all great. I haven't gotten burned while using any of them. I use them every single morning, every single day. And I just rotate. I just tend to gravitate to this one more often. 
I don't know why, but I tend to do it. So I'm just being honest there, but those have been working out great. A cleanser that I've been using for a while now is from Kate Somerville. This is the Exfoliate Cleanser. So they sent this to me a while ago. I've used quite a bit already. And I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite cleansers I've ever used. And that says a lot because I don't use cleansers. Like I never really found like a holy grail cleanser that I can't live without or anything. And this one I just really enjoy. And I think it's because it does a really good job at exfoliating the skin, but it doesn't have those beads in it. It's just like a foam. So it's gentle and I do feel like it exfoliates my skin and it's just, I don't know, it's a great, like I use it every single day and I just really been enjoying it. So I've had good luck with this one. It hasn't broken me out or anything like that. And I like the way it makes my skin feel after I use it. So I don't know, I've been really enjoying that. So I just wanted to update you guys on this product because I haven't talked about it yet. And I've been using it now for well over a month. So I just wanted to talk about that one real quick. All right, so last but not least, and I'm talking a little bit quieter right now because Riley just got put down next, right next to my room. So anyways, last but not least, I wanted to include some shoes that I've been loving because a lot of you guys wanted to see more fashion because I've been talking so much about it on my Instagram and you guys are loving it. So I want to include some shoes that I've been loving and I legit have an addiction for. So these are the Adidas. So I've had these ones for a long time. They're just the white ones. They've definitely gotten dirty. I need to figure out a way to clean them. I did throw them in the wash and I feel like it helped, but I still have this black mark that I can't get rid of. So if you guys have any ideas down below, let me know. But um, I love these, they're just so comfortable. I love my Ons, but then I started wearing these Adidas because I got them for Christmas for my mom. And I found that these are just so much more comfortable than the Ons that I was wearing. So I've just been really obsessed with these. So I actually bought two more pairs and these ones right here, I actually got, I feel like 30% off or something like that. These ones were like only $50. So I got these for, like almost half off of what I would paid for these ones right here. So these are like the really pretty light pink ones. And then I saw these ones cause I was like, I really want a black pair. And these ones have like pink on the ends of them right here. And they're just so cute and they're so comfortable to walk in. I literally live in sneakers now because of Riley. I live in workout gear. I call it athleisure wear. Joel laughs at me for calling it that, but that's what it's called. I mean, it's just, it's easy like to wear leggings and stuff and wear tennis shoes like this just to chase her around in because we're constantly going to the park, we're constantly going on walks, we're just always on the move. So I like to dress comfy yet cute and these are just adorable. There's another pair of white ones that I really like because they're white up here and they have a mint color down here. Oh, it's like Tiffany blue. I really want to get those ones too, but yeah. As you can tell, I have a sneaker addiction and Adidas, these are just so, so comfortable. So I definitely recommend checking these out. I think these ones still are on sale. So I'll have these ones linked down below for you guys. But the whites are like the perfect ones for like a staple in your collection. Like these, I just, I live in them and they're just, a, they're just bomb. So I highly recommend checking those ones out. All right, so that is everything in this speed review May favorites video. <laughs> I really don't know what to call this. So help me in the comments down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my Saturday video. Bye.